I was visiting the barracks one evening uh, and I went into a room and uh, on the wall there was a, a fellow with a photograph of himself in the ring and uh, I said, you're a boxer then? He said, well I was. I said, what do you mean you was? He said, oh well, I'm 38 now. He said, young boys are quick and fast. He said, I do a bit of coaching. I said, well I'm a wrestler myself. And he looked at me with admiration. I said, ah, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and wickedness in high places. And went on to explain to him about the battle that we're in as we fight on the Lord's side. And it turned out to be quite a profitable time. But uh, I think he was uh, not quite expecting me to say that I was wrestling in, in the warfare of the Lord. Another occasion when I was prison, I went to see these boys in the jail. And one of them said to me, Everybody knows that we come through apes. I said, well, your ancestors are way, way back. Apes. It is I. I said, well, I think I'd keep that a secret if I were you. Because mine weren't. So, anyway, that was the way in. The other boys laughed. And we got down to some serious talk. Didn't necessarily have the whole conversation about evolution. But we talked about, in fact, that creation speaks of a creator. And how important it is that we know our Creator through Jesus Christ. After my conversion, I joined the Salvation Army, and the Major asked me if I'd go around the pubs with him to sell the war cry. So I did, and I, he gave me an old a Colonel's uniform and a hat. And on a sat Saturday night, we went out to the, the pubs, and one of the pub first pubs we went into, there's a guy there I was in there girls with, his name was Cookie, and I approached Cookie with my Salvation Army uniform on, he had a paint of lager in his hand, and he says to his mate, without looking at his mate, he looked at me and said, how many pints have I had? And his mate said, how? He says, because Davy Murray stood in front of me with a Salvation Army uniform on, and I had to take my hat off to show him that it was me, because I didn't believe that I had joined the Salvation Army. Verendra Rongong is in Edinburgh. If only we could find him, they said, he would be such a help to reach these brokers. So I said, well, let's have our worship. We'll read and we'll pray and we'll ask the Lord for guidance. So we did that and then when we finished I said, now how are we going to find him? So they said, well, his wife's maiden name was McNabb. <laughs> so I got my Edinburgh telephone directory and I opened up the telephone directory and there was pages of McNabb. But there was one McNabb stood out and that was a McNabb cash and carry. So I, I phoned the McNabb Cash and Carry, and I got a lady who was Mr. McNabb's secretary, yeah. and she defiantly refused to put me through to Mr. McNabb, <laughs> and I insisted that the matter was private and I needed to speak to Mr. McNabb. Yeah. I hadn't a clue. So when Mr. <laughs> McNabb came on, I said, have you a Nepalese son-in-law? Yeah. He said, do you mean Berendra? <laughs> I said, most well, certainly I do. I said, can I speak to him? How about that? Oh, that is amazing. When I was 15, 23, 50 years ago, <laughs> uh, he's a year older than me. Yeah. I was operated on. And somebody had said, you know, might receive your sight back. And I thought, that's wonderful. Now that he's given me his inward eyes, great giving of But the answer was different to me. The operation was good. And I remember the doctor found it very difficult to break the news to me, but I knew what he did. So I was really complaining to the Lord and um, saying, <clears throat> I was quite contented ready to raise the hope and take it away again. That time, the, you know, that verse from the Corinthians, Second Corinthians 5, 9, my grace is sufficient for you. That became very, very real. And these 50 years, every, 
every, for, for everything has been true to that. This grace has been more than sufficient. Here I am on the road back from the Edinburgh to two. Uh, very close to home now. There's the trusty steed. Good old Punto. In the distance there, you can see Dingwall, just on the other side of the water. And over that way, that strip uh, crossing the water there is the Cromarty Bridge. And just on the other side of it, uh, about uh, there, yes, that bump, not the middle bump, but the bump slightly to the right and less noticeable is Swordale Hill, it's kind of in the centre of the, of the viewfinder now, the screen and our house is at the foot of it so now there's some interesting information for you Right Mark, stop being dangerous! Stop being dangerous! You just stop 